it is Saturday and I am getting ready to go to this HBCU picnic at my old alma mater, Florida Memorial University. And it's being sponsored by, I guess, a different, a bunch of different HBCUs. I know that I heard them um, list Howard, my school, and I forgot all the other ones that they listed, but I'm going to show y'all when I get there. So I just wanted to get on here really quickly and show you guys the outfit of today before we head out. So this is the outfit of today. This I got from H&M. So it, as you, I bought it last year. This is my first time wearing it. I brought it last year to go to Jamaica for the resort, but I, don't, I didn't end up going to Jamaica because I ended up going to work a nursing contract in Texas. And uh, I think that, like, I never tried it on, but as you can see, like, the pants just have, like, a little flood at the bottom. But I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% opposed to it because that's, like, fashion, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys see, like, I think that's, like, a trend. But I don't think it looks bad. And... I think the outfit is cute, whether I'm flooding a little or not. So again, the whole outfit came from H&M. I think it was a limited edition connect collection that they had with, I don't, I don't remember who it was. And these are my little Zara shoes that I have on. And these are my long braids. People keep asking me, is my hair like gray or purple? And to be honest with you, I'm not sure. I just wanted some color. And I didn't pay attention to what it said. I just looked at it and I was like, oh, this is cute. So this is the outfit of today as we head to the HBCU picnic. Cute. So I'm here and I looked up on the parking space. The line for parking was like all the way. It was really far back. And I pulled up and got right in. North Carolina A and T. Livingston College. Carolina Central University. This is the Rambling's tent. Bam, you. The Thor Cookman.
have the Hampton University tent. The largest city, in the, the largest African American city in the state of Florida, third largest in the country. Welcome to the city of Miami Gardens, where we do it right and we do it good all the time. This is the AKA 10. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm sure I look a shade darker from when I first went out there. My God, it was so hot. And I literally was standing still in the shade and I was sweating. It is so hot down here in Miami. So I'm leaving a little bit early so I could beat the traffic cause I got another party to go to. Miami don't sleep, I, you know, about the, let me go back to this. The event was very nice. This was my first HBCU picnic here, and apparently this is the sixth year, and this is the first year that it reopened since COVID. It was really, really nice. A bunch of generations of, you know, HBCU alumni, and I think it's going to get better every year. Like, this was really, really nice. Um. So, yeah. It was good. I'm coming back next year. They need to have this in the fall though. Like low key, they need to have it in the fall. Even though the fall for us is still like 77. It was too hot. Like I'm drained. Like I'm beat up by the sun, but I gotta keep pushing because I got another event to go to. Y'all come hang down here with me. I went to this event by myself. Y'all come hang with me. Come hang out with me. All right, guys. I'm going, getting ready to go to event number two. And it is a retirement party. I'm tired. The sun wore me out. But I got to show up because I was invited. <laughs>
good morning guys it is sunday the lord's day and i am getting up well i am up my friend harassed me this morning like she literally blew my phone up because we going to this step class we going to this step class here in Miami that I recommend that if any of you guys come, it's usually every Sunday. It's usually every Sunday and it is a, it's called Black Girls Fit. And it's like hip hop stepping. So I'm about to go in there, get my step on. I'm going to church later on tonight at six. I feel like I've been going, going, going all weekend. Like, I, you know how your grandparents used to say, you need to sit your tail down? Like, I need to sit my tail down. I've been going all weekend. I think today I don't have nothing else to do with my friend here. She like, let's go get some, let's go to brunch after breakfast. I'm like, we got on workout clothes. Like, brunch is a big thing. You, you don't go to brunch and workout clothes. People be dressed to the nines at brunch. I hopped up out the bed, washed my face, brushed my teeth. I think I still got a little liner on from last night. That's how sleepy I was. I did wash my face, though. But anyway, I'm going to give y'all a little bit of what the step class look like. So when you come to Miami, you can pull up. Let's go. Miami, Good morning. It is Saturday. Whew. It's a hot morning already. It's a beautiful morning. Today is my daughter's the 16th. Well, remember it was her 16th birthday and we doing like a little late little pool party. So I'm up because I need to kind of refill the pool. My pool water is low and I had a guy come here to check it out. 
He said that he didn't find any leaks in it, but I'm not sure why my pool water keeps going low. So I'm about to put the water hose in it early to refill it. Also, I need to clean it out a little bit because the pool guy came already. But if you can see, I got these trees here that hang like kind of low over the pool. So sometimes leaves get in there real fast, even after the pool got left. So I gotta clean the pool out myself, which is fine. Also with the pool, um, once the guy come clean the pool, the kids can't get in within like 24 hours because of the chlorine. Let me show y'all how low the pool water is. So if you can see where that line is and where the water is, like it should be right under that blue tile. So I'm about to run the water hose in it and fill it up and just get these little bees, um, whatever these berries or whatever it is. I'm about to get those up and just clean the pool out a little bit more. I don't know if you can see a few little leaves and stuff in it before the little baby kids get here. So I'm setting up for the party tonight for my daughter. Load up a couple of floats already. Oh, this screen is actually bigger than I thought. I wanted the one that's like more for the home size. This is the kind that they be having like on the parks when you go to like events on the parks. So, oh, yeah. I'm tired. So I'm gonna probably sell this one after I'm done and get a smaller one. What's up? So today I'm about to start juicing. I am going to start getting better with my juices because I spend a, I spend a lot of money buying these cold pressed drinks and stuff drinking out. So and I've had this juicer. This is the um the Namowell, I believe it's called juicer. I've had this one for a while and I still, sorry about that. I still be eating out. I mean, buying the drinks out. So I'm gonna juice some kale. I got some celery here, some ginger. You don't need too much ginger and some pineapples. I think I'm gonna put some carrots too. Um, I'm just gonna try to juice all these fruits before they go bad because I am getting ready to go to LA to do some nursing work and I don't want all these fruits and vegetables to go bad. So I'm about to juice. celery and made hold up one bunch of celery made this much juice
Now I'm juicing the kale, this little box of baby kale. It don't look like it's making a whole lot of juice, but that's fine because I don't need that much kale in it anyway. So that one thing of kale, it only got, that's how much juice it made. One baby thing of kale, that's not a lot. I just juiced the pineapple. It was just one, you know, real pineapple and it just filled this up, which is about 16 ounces. So one pineapple is about 16 ounces. Now this little ginger is the killer. Like this might even be too much, this little piece. So I have to do the ginger accordingly. So I'm gonna cut this and juice a piece, mix it up and see how strong it is. Cause this thing could be so strong mess the whole juice up. So this kale, pineapple, and ginger is actually pretty good by itself, but I gotta add the celery to it. So I might have to put some apples so it could keep its sweetness. All right, I got my green drink. Celery, kale, green apples, pineapples, and a hint of ginger. Your girl is healthy. What's up guys? Today is Friday and I am heading to my friend's all white premiere party. Most of you may be familiar with the show Ready to Love and my friend is going to be on that show. So it's Ready to Love Miami and she's having an all white premiere watch party. So let's see how she does. This is cute. Yeah. Hey, girl. I'm looking for my and that was my birthday. Oh, God, you made it. Yeah, that was your birthday, girl. I know this kind of environment can be tough. It's not always easy to be vulnerable and open with facing strangers. But you gotta take that chance. Or you're gonna be left behind without the love that you're looking for. Do I make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, Therese and Dominique, here's what I'm gonna do. You two. Getting a second chance. I want you two to really dig deep and get involved. So it is me and what you All right, but listen up, everybody. This is how it's going to work from here on out. Each week, Power eliminate that goes back and forth between the men and the women. It's Friday to see what happens. Yeah. So you gonna be there this Friday? I'm not going to be here. I'm going to. It's um the black restaurant that's not hosting us. Oh. Any more questions? Oh, that, was that was really good. Damn. 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 So. That was good, very interesting. She explained to us a lot of the ins and outs or the background um, things that happen with reality TV. So it was very interesting. She didn't get eliminated the first round. So that's a a good thing. And so we'll see, we gotta continue to watch cause she didn't tell us. So watch Ready to Love Miami for my friend Dominica to see how far she goes. <laughs> 